Hello YouTube and welcome back to Old Flads and what the hell is that? There's a golden gun. Awesome. As you can see, this is a bit greener than the mosk. And that is because I've moved. Quite frankly, I'm sick of the mosk. It is basically a bandit haven where nothing is ever lasting for longer than about 10 seconds and you die 20 times in an hour that might be fine for you if you like Call of Duty and that sort of thing but quite frankly that is not why I play DayZ this ladies and gentlemen is Panthera now we do have a uh, bit of a stumbling block there's no map and I haven't got the first bloody idea where I am so okay well I am a noob and I've got 18 bullets in my gold revolver. Now hopefully it's not shoot on sight here, otherwise this is going to get pretty interesting pretty quick. This is an island, and it's a lot bigger than the mouse. Probably twice the size, actually, as I said. It's not quite as big as Turner's. It's only 100 square kilometres, which is well, it's still pretty big. That's 10 by 10. So if I was to run from one end of the map to the other, we'd be looking at, well... No, probably the best part of half an hour, 40 minutes maybe to run across the map. That's that's a big map. Now the one difference between this and Chernerus and I believe the other maps is that every single building is enterable. Now what this does is it basically means that loot is spread on a far thinner basis. And that's, I suppose, is pretty good because it means you have to go routing around, you have to plan your routes, especially once you get to know the uh, various areas. Oh, you start with some meat and a coke. That's pretty good. We'll take some more coke. And basically, what I'm going to be doing is starting afresh. You see, it's far, it's all green. It's nice. It's bright. It's not as drab and as horrible as the mouse was. It's quite pleasant. I'm not sure where Panthera is. I I was trying to read up on it. I think it's somewhere in Slovenia. And this is sort of adapted a little bit. Now I'm going to pick that up. Because I found one of them before. On the last server and didn't have any ammo. Okay. So as I was saying. All these buildings are enterable. Which is essentially what they're planning on doing with the standalone. And they're also a lot nicer to be in. So this is sort of this this map is is almost like it's going to be almost like the uh, how the standalone is going to be. But to be honest, I could do with a gun. Right, well, I'm going to look through a few of these buildings, and you can catch me up in a sec. Okay, so just over there is the town, and just here is my new ride. We're going to take the boat. And we're going to see if we can find a town on the beach. Now, I have looked at the map, and the, the town seemed to be down in the southeast portion. Well, that can't be part of it, surely, over there. Hope, I'm hoping that's background, but with DayZ, they, they don't usually do backgrounds in DayZ. They tend to do places. Oh, well. Wow. Is that another one of these? Yes it is! Oh, that's not too bad. Seems the boat is the only way to travel in Panthera. Now I spawned a bit further down here and I've decided that I'm going to head south west-ish and hopefully come across the towns. There are quite a few military spawns around the entire map there's some very open areas as well which I'm hoping due to the number of airports and barrack areas around there I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be quite eventful the island itself is by and large obviously it's going to have craggy edges it's pretty square so I don't know how it's going to work with people spawning now one of my main problems with the mouse was the fact that because people spawn all around the map, nowhere's safe. It, I mean, you can, if you if you wanted to spawn in the north, you could just kill yourself. Come, whoa, whoa. 
Okay. That was the greatest parking in the world. Okay, right, as I was saying, trouble with the mouse is that if someone wanted to get to the north of the country, they could just kill themselves and wait to spawn up there, essentially. I hope my PBX is not affecting loot drops. And that's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem for me to be honest, because in Chernus, for example, okay. What's that noise? I hear a boat. Yeah, in in Chernus, for example, if if you made a base at the north end of the camp that was six thousand kilometers from spawn of sorry I keep it's the background music that was throwing me. Yeah if you if you've made a base that was six thousand kilometers away from the, the spawn areas which are down the south of the map then you're going to be it's gonna be fairly safe. Alright people will migrate that way eventually. But a lot of people won't get that far at the map so you tend to completely reduce the number of people that are likely to come and nick your stuff and just sort of break up your opportunity to sort of put down some roots and get into the game, like really like become dedicated towards a map. With, with the mouse, it was fun, and it was certainly more fun when I was playing with friends, but ultimately the biggest problem I had was the fact that you just don't feel like you're, you're in the map, you feel like you're going there for a, it feels like a round of, I don't know, team deathmatch almost or or free for all that's that's exactly how it felt and that's not what daisy's about certainly not to me and as a result that is just begging to be jumped on something isn't it yeah, run away. zombies yeah and as a result it's sort of become a little bit detached with it i enjoy i enjoyed making it. i hope you enjoyed the last video i made i, I put like a little cinematic thing at the beginning which I haven't done before, and I quite enjoyed doing that. And hopefully I can do that a, a bit more often, because it was quite fun just editing that and putting it all together. And it makes my video seem a bit more approachable, a bit more professional maybe. I don't know. I uh, quite appreciate some feedback on how you thought that went. And, uh, right, we found a bigger town now. This is good. What we really need is a barracks. There's 25 people on this server at the moment. But due to the size of it, it's a bit like Chernus in as much as that you're not going to be seeing people every second. And that's good, because I need to find my way around and I need to get my bearings a little bit. And this first episode may not be full of event, but to be honest, I am, well, pretty lost on this, on this server entirely. I have not the first clue where I am. I know that I have found a decent town there. And that is a good thing. Right, I'm going to head up into the city. And I'll catch you in a second. Okay, guys, we've moved up into the main town, and it's pretty obvious to see why people really do enjoy this map. Look at these buildings, they look fantastic. The whole thing is green, but it's a vibrant green, and the buildings look great, and you can go inside, and they've got Schnell petrol. I don't know if Schnell exists as a company, I certainly know Shell does. And oh, be careful on the rocks. So what we're going to do, I found a supermarket, so we're going to go head down there. Uh, I'm not sure how vehicles, how the vehicles work on here. Presumably they spawn fairly regularly. I don't know. Either way, we're going to go over to the supermarket, see what loot. Ooh, zombies. See what loot is about there. There's a lot going on in this town, but it's so well. It's so well proportioned, there's no, it's not like, it, I, for some reason I just want to say, like, Tuscany, or it's somewhere in Italy, it just has that, has that sort of feel about it, and apparently this is a bit damp, this, <laughs> this ground, that's better, we dried off a bit. Now you've noticed that the zombies are not aggroing, what the hell? You notice the zombies are, they are aggroing, but they're not aggroing straight away. And that is because this is on, 
I can't remember what difficulty it's on. It's not on expert though, which is what the, the mouse map was, and that was just crazy difficult. Zombies could spot you from a mile away, and that has the obvious. No, I need to get away from El Zombo. Boom! This is important. So I'm gonna get hit, I think. I'm quick. Wow, there's a lot of food in here. Yeah, sorry. Well, yeah, as I was saying, basically, the mouse was on expert, so the zombies had huge sight lines, and when they hit you, boy, did they re they buckled you. Matches straight away. That is very handy. Bandages. How get them? Take another one of them. Okay, so this supermarket is incredibly well stocked. We've got some food now. M1911. Meh. Golden gun, baby. Golden gun. Uh, so all we need now is a barracks, and this will be a pretty good start to life on Panthera. Right, guys, so we are just about... We are just about done for our first episode. But this is what a barracks looks like on Panthera. A fairly humble affair. And inside is, well, fairly humble loot. So I'm presuming this is medium value barracks. And I'm going to have to have a look about and see if I can find... Let's, uh, let's get this tire out of here. And see if I can find a high value barracks. But we do have a shotgun now, so we are at least protected. Which is, uh, which is good. It's always nice to, uh, to have a little bit of protection. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. We're still talking about guns. Meh, maybe. Okay, so... Get the, no, I don't want that in the back. I want the car wheel in the back. That's better. Freed up some space. Okay, guys. Right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction to Panthera. It looks great, doesn't it? It really looks great. So, I'm looking forward to playing a lot more in here. And hopefully owning up some people and putting down some roots too. Thank you again and I shall speak to you soon. Cheers and goodbye.